everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Shauna and welcome to Shauna's World. Yay! How is everybody doing? Oh my goodness. Well, I'm doing good. I hope you all are too. I hope you're starting off your morning, your day with a with a blast, with a positive vibes. And even if you're not feeling positive, get positive, get positive, get positive, get positive. How do you do that? Well, I'll give you some tips. How do I do that? How do I get myself going? I don't know. I just get out of bed and I'm just happy. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Sometimes you just have to uh, get out of the bed and just start smiling. For one, you got out of the bed. Yes, you got out of the bed. So, there you go. That should make you smile already. Regardless of whatever you're going through, smile about it. And just know, okay, look, I'm ready to take it on. Put on your armor. Put on your gear. Let's go. That's how you got to go. That's how you have to be, unfortunately. Well, anywho. Yes. <laughs> Yes, thinking about the conversation or thinking about the video I made yesterday made me to really think, oh my gosh, how many naive mommies or daddies, you know, go into these sports situations. Okay, sports situations, what do I mean by sports? Yeah, when you're entering into sports, duh, it's all about competition. Yes, it is all about competition. And maybe sometimes one tends to forget that. I think I did. I, I didn't. Well, actually, I, I don't. I have zero, zero sports background. But you don't necessarily need a sports background. If you've ever been in a competition, then you know that sometimes things can get dirty. People can get dirty. Hell, maybe you even get dirty. You know, when it comes to winning, people will do all types of things. Okay? So, if you're wondering what I'm talking about, yes, I'm talking about how I felt when my daughter was in competition with a little cute young lady and um, her father approached my daughter right before the game. And, yeah, I kind of... Put some ideas in her head and um, <clears throat> because of that it affected her I'm 100% sure of that because it kind of affected me now that I think about it you know I just thought wow you know even though I just had to boost her back up but you know what <clears throat> it made me realize <clears throat> he won't be the only one so <clears throat> One has to keep that in mind that there are tons of his types out there. Tons. And that's whatever you do. They're out there. You know, these people are out there. Um, they're haters. There are people who do not want to see you win. And sometimes, you know, these haters or, you know, toxic people come in disguises. They come in as nice innocent people. I mean, they come in all forms. So do not be fooled by laughs and smiles. and <laughs> Take care, guys. Just take care, you know. And that's not to say that all people come in with, you know, um, I'm going to say they don't, not everybody comes in with this thought of I'm going to, I'm out to get you. No, it just means just take care. Just be on guard, guide yourself, guide your, guide the way that, yeah, protect your mind, protect your space, protect your children's space and start working on your child's self-esteem. Make sure that they're built up. Make sure that the, the base, the foundation is there because if there's no base or foundation, then you got a problem right there. You know, it's just like, <clears throat> excuse me guys, got to clear my throat. Today I got the tea, got my nice warm tea, so 
yes, I'm good to go. Um, you know, like, you know that story about the, um, what's that story? Now I got to think about it. The three little pigs, right? Yes. That, I'm telling you, whoever told that story knew exactly what they were talking about because that is really how life works. I'm serious. There's a lot of truth in a lot of these you know, kitty tales that come out, you know, you can really apply it to your everyday life. There's got to be a base. And if you have a house, you know, that first little pig, you know, because there's always going to be a big bad wolf. Regardless, you will always run into a big bad wolf. It's just how life is, you know. And I believe these big bad wolves come into your life to teach you lessons. So, don't see it as a negative, but see it, okay, I, you know, I got this, you know, okay, I see how this works, let me prepare myself better, okay, and never let them see you sweat, but anywho, that first little piggy, right, you remember that first little piggy, he got his straw, or she got a straw, whichever gender it may be, got his straw, built up a beautiful home, right, and then, here comes that big old bad boy. What did he do? Because the house was made of straw. It looked beautiful. It looked really beautiful on the outside. But it didn't have a strong baseline. And so what happened? That big bad wolf came in and whew, and blew that house away and it was gone. It was gone. Okay? So we know that that first piggy's house didn't have no good strong baseline, right? Well, that's exactly how your your thought is, your mental is. If you don't have that strong base, somebody's going to come, they're going to say whatever, and they're going to, and they're going to blow you away. And you're just going to be like, Ugh, falling down into pieces, right? Okay. So, what about that second pig? Well, that second pig came in with some sticks, right? Remember that second pig? That second pig was like, yeah, okay, I saw what happened to that first pig with the straw. <laughs> I got this because my house is going to be built with some sticks. Yes, my house is going to be built with some sticks, and I got this. Yes, I got this. Yes. So what happened? That big old bad wolf came in and what did he do? Yes, he did. He came in and he blew that second pig's house away. <sighs> well, just think of that second pig being you. You like, okay, I know what this is. I know what it is. I'm, I'm good. I got this. But maybe you weren't. Maybe, maybe that foundation wasn't really there. Right? So whatever that person or whoever that whatever came along and just blew you away because you weren't really strong enough inside. No, it wasn't. It starts inside. It starts up here. This has to be strong, okay? You must know who you are. Teach your kids. They must know who they are. They, daily, daily. You got to. So that... Uh, Second pig's house got blown away. And that pig was done. So the third pig saw all that was going on. I'm sure he did his studying. I'm sure he observed this wolf. He saw his technique. He saw what was being done. He went out and he educated himself. He probably went on and said, okay, what can I use to build a strong base? Okay, so this won't happen to me. It won't happen to me. This wolf is going to come in once again because we know he's out there. <clears throat> and he's going to come and he's going to do the same thing with me. So what do I need to do? Well, what I need to do is I have to build a strong base. 
yes, I gotta build a strong base. And how am I gonna go about doing that? I'm gonna go out and educate myself. I'm gonna see what materials I need to build myself up. Not just myself, but my house. My house has to be built with strong, strong, strong material. So that so that wolf is gonna come along. He's gonna keep blowing. He's gonna keep blowing, and it's just not going. It won't go anywhere. <laughs> no, it won't go anywhere. And that's exactly how we have to be. That's exactly how we have to be. We need to go out and we need to educate ourselves. <clears throat> We need to go out and we need to build ourselves up. We need to build. We got to start in here and up here. This is very important, very important, because if there's no strong base, if you do not know who you are, trust me, those big bad wolves are going to come and they're going to blow, 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 blow. And um, yeah, they're going to keep knocking you down if you don't build it up with a strong baseline so that third little pig yes he went out and he did he educated himself he got all the the, the strongest equipment or or material that he can use to build himself up and we all know what happened he built his house of bricks yes bricks <laughs> So that big bad wolf thought he was slick. He's like, ah, ha, ha, I got this. I know, I know, I know. It runs in the family, right? Not. It did not. It does not run in the family. Cause that pig was smart. So that big old bad wolf came in, and what did he do? He tried it again. Yes, he tried it again. But this time there was a different outcome. Yes, there was a different outcome, and it's so funny. He. He tried to blow, he tried to blow, he tried to blow, he tried to blow, 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 blow. <laughs> and nothing happened. Yes, nothing happened. It didn't even phase him. He was sitting in his little house or she sitting reading a book and just chilling, had had the hands in the back and was just, oh my gosh, just it didn't phase him or her. That's exactly how we have to be. It can be done. It can be done. You just gotta go out there and you gotta look for that material. Yes, you got to look for that material. And you have to educate yourself and start. Start up here. Start on your child. Start early, very early. Don't wait till that child is old enough because again, um, If there's no baseline, you and your child are done. <laughs> I hate to tell you, you guys are done. You're done. And you know, it's it's okay. It, you know, it takes time. It really takes time. So yes, I might have had my house I might have had my house with some sticks up there. But what am I going to do? Build it up next time so that won't happen again. I'm going to protect. Yes, I'm going to protect. And be a lot smarter about it. And that's how you have to be too. Protect yourself. So you can get to that point where it doesn't even phase you. And the more I talk about it, the more I'm like, oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I know who I am. I know who, I know where I come from. I know my base is strong, very strong. Honey, I'm a Gemini. Yes, I am a Gemini. Gemini's are strong. And Gemini's create strong as strength. Not to be arrogant or conceited. No. I just know who I am, and you should know who you are too, regardless of what sign you are. But I had to throw that in there. I had to throw that in there. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked my message. I try not to make it too long, but I wanted to talk about that and share it because I think it's important. You know, like I said, you can apply this to anything in life. 
anything, really, literally. Okay? Anywho, until next time. Oh, right. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I know, I know, I know, I know. I gotta be a little bit more consistent with my videos, okay? So please forgive me, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep posting because I love to talk. I love to talk. I love to talk. Yes. Anyway, until next time, guys. See you later.